Today we're going to take a Shelly One Smart Relay and a Shelly One Button Enclosure and make a smart garage door opener that you can control with your smartphone or with any device that has a browser. The first step is to determine what type of garage door opener you have. This garage door opener has a wire that leads over to a switch on the wall. That is a pretty solid indicator that this is just a regular momentary switch that can trigger the store. If you short those two screws on the garage door opener, it should perform the same action as pushing this button here. So first we'll start by taking the button off the wall. I see there's two screws here holding the wires on. We're gonna remove those screws as well so we can free those two wires. Once those wires are free, you can touch them together and if the garage door responds by opening or closing when you touch those two wires together, this is a simple switch-based garage door opener. Now that we've determined the type of garage door opener we have, we'll take a Shelly button, which is just an enclosure for the Shelly One relay also, a couple of other Shelly relays will fit into this enclosure as well. So first we unbox it, and you'll see there's five wires inside of it. Those five wires will line up with the five wires on the Shelly, the Shelly relay. I find that it's easier if you attach one wire to one side, tighten that first, and then tighten the wire on the opposite side second. That will keep the rest of the wires in place as you tighten all of the screws down to make a solid connection. Here we have the output and input, the switch, the positive and negative terminals on the relay. Next up, it's always a good idea to look at the instructions. So here we see that those correspond to neutral input, line input, output, input, and switch. The next step is to connect the wires that used to connect to the switch to the I and the O terminals of the Shelly 1. Once you've assembled this and you find that your garage door doesn't open, the chances are that these terminals are in reverse order. You may have to swap these. Next, because this is a relay that can use AC or DC current, we're going to go with a 12 volt DC, 200 milliamp power supply. You can use a bigger power supply if you want, as far as the amperage, but this just goes to show that you don't need a whole lot of amperage to run the Shelly 1. Here we strip the wires from the power supply and we're going to connect those to the positive and the negative terminals on the Shelly 1. Now we look at the instructions again and we see here that there is a setting here where we can change it from the higher voltages in AC or DC or 12 volts DC and so we need to move that terminal I just took a wire like a paper clip and used that to pull out the jumper and then uh, I moved the jumper over to the other two pins on the Shelly 1 relay. This will make it respond to 12 volts instead of 30 plus volts. The next step is to put on the case and mount it to the wall. Once it's mounted, I should be able to just push this button and it opens the garage door, and it does. The next step is to associate this new Shelly One Relay with your Shelly app on your smartphone, or you can do this from a computer as well by using the HTTP commands. But as you can see, when I push the button, it either opens or closes the door. That's it for today.